Teachers in Yemen celebrate their national day amid difficult economic and living conditions. After a decade-long civil war, salary suspensions have prompted desperate teachers to seek alternative forms of income. This report has more details. At morning, he practices his profession as a teacher, and after the day ends, he begins the journey of searching for his living. The teacher Shihab Omar is one of thousands of teachers who works in the morning as a teacher, enlightening the minds of young generations, and after his work ends, he turns into an electrician. Extra work has become an inevitable necessity to provide the basic needs of his family. Extra work for the teacher has become a necessity in order that the teacher meet his family's needs. He adds to work in a field besides education in light of the deterioration of the local currency. It becomes a must in order to pay the rent of my house and to support my family. Shahab's story is not exceptional, but rather a small example of the suffering of a wide segment of workers in Yemen who have become victims of Houthi's war that ravaged the country, cut their salaries, and made them face the bitterness of living. In addition to the wigs that are no longer available in its simplest form. Salaries are not enough. They are too little. They do not meet the needs of the teacher. The salaries do not meet the needs of the teachers. Salaries are now very little in comparison with the situation before. In the past, the teacher could adapt his life according to the salary he receives. But now, because salaries are quite low, teachers are opted to seek other jobs. The teachers in Yemen are reeling under the circumstances of war that go beyond their own lives, but also reflect on the whole educational process. The teachers are not able to meet their basic necessities, and they are forced to look for other sources of income, which have a negative impact on their psychology and their role as messengers of knowledge.